wonderful chickens. In this video, I will talk to you about side length of a triangle. How many sides do you guys need to build a triangle? I hope you said three. Okay, so now we have these three sides. Can they be any length? Can we do three, two, and six? One side is three, another side is two, and then another side is six. Think about that. If you said yes, please watch this video. And if you said no, you probably know the rule. The sum of two sides always, always, always has to be greater than the other side. This has nothing to do with whether it's a short leg, a long leg, or a hypotenuse. Any sides, the sum of any two sides has to be greater than the third side. Let me demonstrate to you what a triangle that I was just telling you about look like. So we will begin with the longer side, okay? We will give you six first. Pencil, I need you. So this is our hypotenuse. This is six. Here, we're going to have two. And here, we're going to have three. Do you see how two and three, they want to meet, but they can't meet? Because even if the angle was really minimal, even if these two sides, they lay flat, this was two and this would be three. If this side is six, can't work. So remember this, the sum of two sides. So let's say this was side A, this was side B, and this was side C. A plus B always greater than C. A plus C has to be always greater than B. And lastly, C plus B has to be always greater than A. Always, always greater. If, maybe some of you are wondering, well, Katya, can they equal? Yes, but that would be a triangle. If they equal, let's say one side is six, and this side is two, and this side is four. Does that look like a triangle? I don't think so. But if one side, let's say, was three, and that side was four, we would actually have a triangle. So if it's three, four, and six, then it works because the sum of any two sides has to be greater than the third. And I know this um, rule is kind of simple, but you know, the SAT can, is a master of making something simple seem very complicated. So I'm going to give you this rule right here. Feel free to write it down. So the difference between A and B is going to be less than C. And C is just the third side. And then uh, C is going to be less than the sum. Just keep that in mind and uh, I'll see you in the next videos. But we'll, we will go over a simple problem and a bunch of hard problems. I'll see you there. Bye.